Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of the Bishop Sycamore Icon 9 uh, training series for the Power Pearls World Discord uh, Koshien Tournament. In this episode today we are going to be going over the first three months of training for the team and how uh, we wanted to train each of the guys and also we get a little bit of action with a practice game against another school so... Be sure to watch this episode, it's going to be a little bit action-packed with stat upgrades and the gameplay. So we started off our season in April, beginning of training, and all of the training at the start of the year was all random due to the fact that we weren't able to change the uh, training procedures for each of the players, but as soon as May came around, we were able to change this up. So we gave Haslam training on his... Uh, control so he can be upgraded with that for Peters I had to make the decision between speed control and stamina but I went with control for him since that needed a lot of work for Lance Fields there was kind of an obvious pick that I had to do with that I had to go with his speed since it's already at a G and he needs to improve upon that drastically Gunnarsson needed to be upgraded with his power. Later, we'll be able to get to his air resistance later in the season. For Easton, I had to go with throwing strength due to it being the lowest rated out of all of his attributes. And finally, with Porter, I went ahead and chose his fielding since right now his attributes are pretty balanced, so we would have to pick and choose which um, attributes we'd wanted to upgrade for him. So now that we've set in stone all of the training for our first year players, we are simming through the month of May, as this is basically the quote-unquote boring part of our season. Just getting through all the training, hoping that soon we'll get a practice match against another school, hoping to at least upgrade our guys in any way or form. And now that May is over, we can see the subtle upgrades to all of our players. You can see Haslam got a little bit upgraded. Peters got his control upgraded. Fields is now at F speed, which is solid. He also has E uh, error resistance. Gunnarsson is upgraded a little bit. Um, going through all the other second and third year players. Waiting till we get to Easton. Easton still needs some time to get upgraded, and Porter's power went up to an E. And now we are zooming through part of June, getting a little bit of a player upgrade here. Certain pauses will happen in my own uh, controls because I need to translate all this stuff so I don't because I don't speak fluent Japanese. And we were able to get a test game. A few weeks into June. So heading into the game, we had our lineup of Goldberg, Miller, Garcia, Wakeford, Osmus, Foley, Hosmer, Torque, and Porter. All nine playing here. We will be skimming through this game as much as we can. As we now head into the fourth, down one nothing, Wakeford at the plate. He did have Demon Doll, but we weren't going to be using it that early as he rips a foul down left field. The next pitch, though, he drills it deep into left field and hits a home run to tie up the game 1-1. One one. Now we head over to the bottom of the six. Wakeford at the plate, down 2-1. to one. He gets two strikes right away, but he does ground one into center field to tie up the game once again with runners at first and second. The very next batter, Osmus, takes the first pitch deep into left, but foul. The next pitch, he will rip it into right field, getting it off the fence and scoring in another run, giving Bishop Sycamore a 3-2 lead. Now we are in the bottom of the seventh, runners at second and third for Garfield at the plate. It is now a 1-1 count, grounds one to second base. The throw is going to be offline, and another run will score for Bishop Sycamore. It's 4-2. Now it is Wakeford at the plate, and we will be activating Demon Doll for his at-bat. 
trying to set up contact and aggression at the play with an 0-1 count. Grounds one right back to the pitcher. The throw goes past the first baseman. One run scores. They were going to send him home, but they held back. So it is going to be 5-2. Now we are in the 8th inning with Porter, the first year coming up. Again, set up for contact and aggression at the plate. 1-1 one, one count, he hits one into right field. That gets past the right fielder. A run will score off of that. It is now 6-2 Bishop Sycamore. And now it is Goldberg coming up to bat. Power and aggression is asked for with a 1-1 one, one count swing and a miss. And it's now 1-2 grounded off the glove of the pitcher throws to first way out of line so both runners will advance it's now second and third with two outs and now the pitcher mike miller coming up to the plate with a 1-1 count he drills it into right center field that is going to be a walk off home run for bishop sycamore they take this practice game nine to two in eight innings and after the game, we get a little bit of upgrades here for the team. Porter did not get any upgrades, but Easton did get bumped up one point for one of his attributes. Fields as well also got bumped up. Haslam, no upgrades. But Peters did get an upgrade in one of his attributes. And now we are going to be skimming through a little bit of training here as the team gets set for exams day. And we are hoping that everybody is able to pass the exam. And it looks like three of our players failed. It was Lawrence, Easton, and Haslam. And now that exams are over, we now have to worry about our drawing for prefectures coming up in the next few days. And it is now time for the drawing I went ahead and said that I will take the duties of drawing for the team as we see we got a C in one half of the bracket so we wanted to aim for the one or the three spot in the drawing and what do we pull we were able to pull a three so we got the good side of the bracket only worrying about one C rated team while the other side has to deal with three separate C-ranked teams. Now that we have our drawings for the tournament, we will be skimming through this time and get to the final attributes of July. And for the first year's upgrades, we do see Haslam getting his control up to a D, which is pretty solid. We went ahead and changed his... Uh, training to speed Peters went ahead and had a little bit of upgrades to his control as well up to 26 there fields is also being upgraded again his air resistance is now up to an E which is solid Gunnarsson has also taken a couple of upgrades across the board here getting ease in contact running air or throwing strength and fielding and finally, Easton went ahead and got Fs across the board, and Porter has an E in power for his training. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Bishop Sycamore Training. We will be heading into prefectures in the next episode, and as always, I have been Lancer. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.